here because I know Patrick wants to get out there and watch a little race here today. And Patrick, uh, needless to say, is a uh, star of uh, stage, screen, and television, rules of engagement right now. But uh, today he got to ride the two seater and he's been in the celebrity pro race, I think, twice. So tell us about your racing experiences. Well, I had, uh, I've raced in the uh, the celebrity pro race here twice, one in 02 and once last year. And uh, last year we had better results. Uh, the first year I crashed, I tried to take out a wall on turn nine, and uh, the wall won. So, <laughs> it was unfortunate, that was the end of my race. Um, but uh, yeah, I missed a shift going into uh, that turn is the back straightaway, and if uh, you have too much speed going into it, you'll, you're going to hit a wall. And so I, instead of getting into my in the fifth gear or the third gear, I went into fifth and was just rolling too fast and uh, and hit the and hit hard on the side of the car. And your natural instinct is to uh, lean away from a car crash, which makes it worse because it just gives you more more distance where you had to snap into the side of the car when you hit. So I learned from some of the pro drivers afterwards that you will want to lean into an accident. There's no, there's nowhere in your brain that tells you to do that. No, it's <laughs> I can tell you that from first experience, but first-hand experience. But uh, uh, and then last year, uh, slightly better results. I finished the race, but it was a lot of fun. Driving around the two seater is an amazing experience uh, in, a, in an Indy car. They, uh, they're just, uh, you know, amazing. Uh, it's an amazing uh, machine. I've never been anything so responsive in my life. Maybe you get a trip on an F-18 jet, but they can't turn the corners quite that sharp. No. <laughs> Were you holding on? I didn't feel like uh, you had to hold on or there was anything to hold on. You're strapped in there pretty good. So, so uh, Who was driving you? Uh, Davey Hamilton. No relation to Scotty Hamilton, the ice skater. <laughs> Maybe the brothers, I don't know. I'm just guessing. I'm guessing. <laughs> it's, California, it's not an uncommon name. Why didn't you race this year in the celebrity? I wasn't asked. Oh, wow. Oh. Oh. Well, who do we see? Maybe, maybe, the, maybe they don't want, maybe want, they want to save some of their cars. <laughs> <laughs> Not this year. Did you see the, the uh, Stephen yeah. flipped and yeah. uh, Julian Barbary crashed and AJ and the Jonas brother and something. Tito. Oh, Tito, Tito and Jim and Hansu. Well, that was uh, a media also day. Came back with damage. A lot of damage. damage. Yeah. Well, I understand. Last year we were told it was the most carnage ever on the track. For a so non-Shatner year. Yeah. <laughs> well, we had, uh, we took more caution laps last year. But in writing about the Celebrity Pro people, I mean, it's real racing. I mean, when you're out there, you're not playing around, right? This is real It racing. is real racing, except when it comes to the rules. Like, if somebody passes five cars on a caution flag during the Pro Celebrity race, they don't disqualify them. Burn, I'm not even going to mention his name, did one in the Academy Award. <laughs> Having gone out today in the uh, two-seater, how much more of a perspective does that give you uh, getting around this course or just getting around any course? When, when you're in the two-seater, you're, you're directly, you only have your peripheral, you don't really have great head-on vision because you're directly behind the driver. So, uh, fortunately, I knew where, where, where turns and corners are coming up, but they come up a lot faster in that car. Um, it's amazing how they grab, though. They really are on rails. But the, when you're in the corners, it feels remarkably similar to, you know, the the Toyota cars that we race in because they almost have to come to a stop in some of those hairpin turns. What's so impressive is how fast they are out of them, how fast they break into them. But when you're right in the midst of a turn, you know, they get real, they get real slow, or at least it feels slow. Uh, Patrick, uh, you've had two celebrity races now, and then the two seater. Is it safe to say you have a little bit of a racing budget? Uh, sure. Once you get out of the two seater, you want to drive one of those. You really do. But you also have a much greater respect for um, for their their uh, you know uh, these drivers, how quickly they can respond, you know, and how quick their reflexes are, because they they really got to be be quick. Otherwise, you, you can get the faster the car, the more trouble you can get into, and the quicker something bad can happen. And um, and uh, so, but it would be fun. I do have a son, my son and I, uh, my eldest son, we're going to go out to Bakersfield and actually drive uh, something that looks like NASCAR cars on a dirt track next week, and that'll be fun. But I, it's it's fun. You just want to, whatever it is, 
you know, uh, you want to know that. Uh, I think that, like in the open wheel, you know, the Indy type cars, um, uh, th that starts getting dangerous. You gotta, you gotta live and drive and race and, and do it on a, on an everyday basis. You know, otherwise, it's just uh, it wouldn't be safe. You know, these guys are the best drivers in the world. Did you grow up like in our racing? Yeah, it, it, yeah, absolutely. You know, yeah, it, no, um, no more or less than I guess your average, you know, young boy, not knowing a lot about it, just watching, you know, fast cars on TV, and get, you know, getting into it a little bit. You grew up in this area here. Yeah, I grew, up, I grew up in Huntington Beach. Yeah. 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 yeah, but never got to this race until, I guess, uh, 02 the first time. Why not? Participate. You never, you didn't come up for it at all. You never came up to watch it. Uh, you, you know how lazy you can get at Huntington Beach. The waves are surfable. The orange hurts. Stop traffic in Long Beach. Yeah, we're gonna deal with traffic in Long Beach. You do better walking up here from Huntington Beach than trying to find. I drive a Yeah. Have you given any racing advice to Megan? <laughs> I wouldn't give any racing advice to anybody. Uh, I. Uh, as it is, I just try to, to get across the finish line in one piece myself. Um, uh, no, but she had a better year this year than last year, which was nice. She felt pretty happy about it. Yeah. Besides your great show, The Rules of Engagement, you have a movie coming out, so why don't you tell them about your new movie? Uh, well, uh, Hoodwink 2 is coming out, it's animated. Awesome. It's on the 29th. And then um, uh, it's something called Movie 43, which is uh, one of the Farley Brothers. Uh, at Friday Brothers effort, and uh, that was fun. Um, that's supposed to be coming out this year. As an actor, have you encountered a story, a team owner, or a racer that you'd like to play or do, or you think should be made into a film? You've been around this now quite a bit. You met any interesting stories where you're like, I could play that, or I could do that? Uh, no, I. Uh, you don't want to do the Danica Patrick story? Fair, uh, yeah. <laughs> Dad. It'd be a stretch, but I think that's because <laughs> hey. I'm really not giving This is credit. Hollywood. It could be, you know. I'm not giving the credit. Exactly. <laughs> I feel like so, not until I play Danica Patrick. Right, you can put it on. This guy's on the ball. <laughs> <laughs> Any last questions? Yeah. Patrick, um, obviously with Hoodwing 2 coming out, the, were you surprised at the success of the first movie? And also, now that uh, your other iconic cartoon character Brock Sampson will be coming back for another two seasons. How, how do you feel about uh, continuing the story of, of the OSI's greatest secret agent? Well, question one. Hoodwinked was uh, really fun because uh, although it, it ended up being the very first independently produced animated feature to ever get a major release. Um, what made it work wasn't the great animation, or the you know, high level uh, was the story and it was it was very, it was creative and clever. And I thought it was a great take on Rashomon. I'm sorry. I thought it was a great take on Rashomon, the Kurosawa classic that used the same different perspectives in the in the story. I agree. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that's exactly. I didn't, I didn't. No, don't worry about it. The truth is all relevant. I'll use exactly. it later. Um, uh, uh, Brock Samson's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun doing. Uh, Brothers and working with that's a very creative team. And uh, Chris McCulloch is uh, yeah. a buddy from the Tick Day. So, uh, yeah, a lot of fun. I got, I got to admit, I love, I, I got to admit personally, I love the show. I have, I, I have the into all four seasons already, and I'm looking forward to when you guys come back for the next one. My son, Talon, is 18, he's a big fan. So, last season, I kept asking him, Where's Brock? Where's Brock? <laughs> <laughs> have you seen the figure? I have seen a figure. I have a, I have a couple of them around the house. That's great. They're, they're fun. It's fun to have your own action figures. <laughs> What's that? You have an action It's like, oh yeah, that's me. Whenever my, wife my get, whenever my wife and I get in an argument, I take Brock. I just take Brock. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to the Brock. To the Brock. <laughs> <laughs> she loves it. The matter she is. The yeah. funnier it is. <laughs> Right, Last question right here in the red. Uh, number one, what are you driving on the street right now? And number two, have you sent your kids to school yet? 
Dick Barber or thought about doing that kind of thing? Well, I, I also have my kids to Danny McKeever's out in Willow Springs. And Danny's the one who, who trained all the celebrities for the Celebrity Pro Race. He's done it every year for years. He's a great tra uh, coach, driver, you know, trainer. He's got a great program. And I can't wait to send my two eldest there um, sometime within the next year. And uh, I, drive, I got a 1969 Dodge Charger. Oh. Yeah, I got a little bit of a break to it. Very sexy. Her name's Angelina. After Angelina Jolie. <laughs> To my wife's great displeasure. And, uh, <laughs> and Did you ride around in Angelina all day? <laughs> and, uh, and then a uh, Mercedes CL500. It's kind of funny. In every relationship, I find you know, um, you know, the guy has his you know his dream you know get out of jail card as does the woman's you know. And uh, if you ever meet that person, you get to sleep with them. Hers would be Brad Pitt, and mine would be her sister. So. Uh, <laughs> That just wouldn't be fair with it. You're going to be so disappointed by that. <laughs> She's got the car named after her. Yeah, she got the car. Is this really mine to keep? No. <laughs> Thank you, Panda. Thank you, guys.